what has two farms and hosts replay? Not this guy, it's Matt Zat, actually. Here he is. From the launch of Vanishing Ink Masterclass Live to a variety of special TV segments, this week was a busy one in the world of magic. But before we go any further, we want to take a moment to remember the legacy of Mr. Electric, Marvin Roy, who passed away this week at the age of 95. Marvin's love for magic began during his time with the United States Army, where he earned a Purple Heart while storming Normandy and was reassigned to a special services group that used to perform variety shows for the rest of the troops. After completing his service, Marvin enrolled at UCLA to study theater, and it was here that it became evident he was already a naturally gifted magician and showman. But when he met his wife Carol a few years later, well, the rest is history. For more than five decades, the iconic duo mesmerized audiences around the world and inspired countless magicians with their remarkable light bulb themed act known as Artistry in Light. The entire Vanishing Ink team would like to extend our condolences to Marvin's family and thank both him and Carol for their unforgettable contributions to the magic community. In other news, Eric Jones joined PIX11 in New York City this week to discuss his background as a self-taught magician and also show off a special magic trick to promote his upcoming appearance on Masters of Illusion. While he's best known for his silky smooth coin magic, in this video, Eric showcases his excellent card magic chops with a super visual card to impossible location routine that you're going to want to check out. This week, Piff the Magic Dragon and Mr. Piffles also participated in the second round of the Tournament of Laughs, a March Madness-style tournament for comedians that airs every Sunday on TBS. In this hilarious video, the fire-breathing duo attempts to make their own Copperfield level mark on history by making the Eiffel Tower outside the Paris Hotel in Las Vegas disappear. There's even a cameo from David Copperfield himself. Stay tuned because we'll find out if Piff advances to the next round on July 19th. For our highlight of the week, we got a chance to sit down and chat with mentalist Chris Rollins about his unique effect, IDD. In this exclusive interview, I spoke with Chris about how this is one of the rare drawing duplication effects that can be easily performed in any virtual magic show. And just to prove it, I even got to experience a full performance firsthand. This video is available on our Facebook and Instagram for you to check out when you're done here. Keeping with the virtual magic theme, our trick of the week is actually a new take on an old favorite. Our best-selling trick, Socks, gets even better with an all-new handling from Liam Montier that makes this trick even easier to perform in your virtual magic shows and also allows you to shuffle the cards before you begin. Socks is one of those effects that's just as fun to perform as it is to watch. It leaves a lasting impression on every audience, and I can tell you from experience, it is easily one of the most talked about routines from my own shows. If you own Socks, this new handling is already in your account. If you don't own Socks, grab it right now and learn why this trick is so good, Joshua J actually performed it for the entire run of his off-Broadway show, Six Impossible Things. For our deck of the week, we take a look at a deck that we can confidently say is unlike any other deck on the market because diffractor playing cards use a brand new patented printing process to create a never before seen holographic look. The front and back of every card has a stunning rainbow shine that you might recognize looks very similar to those special stickers you might find on an ID card or some other type of secure document. If you want to add the one-of-a-kind diffractor playing cards to your collection, you're going to need to act fast. There were only 499 of these numbered decks ever produced, and at the time of this recording, we have less than 25 left in stock. 
Moving on, our book of the week is actually books of the week, as we are excited to announce a special partnership with Ricky Smith. Ricky Smith is a highly respected and talented magician, and Vanishing Ink now has the exclusive rights to two of his rarest lecture notes, Threve and Nothing As It Seems. Filled with an impressive collection of practical, original, and downright fun moves and routines, these lecture notes will greatly benefit any dedicated student of magic. While these lecture notes are available separately, for a limited time only, you can get them both as part of an exclusive download bundle. While that's all we have for you today, we are so excited to see so many of you again this Sunday for Aussie Wynn's second Vanishing Ink Masterclass Live session, which if you haven't signed up for yet, you still can. Sign up today and you will get all three lectures, including an exclusive download of last week's session. If you're looking for something to do before Sunday though, make sure you head to our blog and check out some awesome new posts in Steve Faulkner's Rambles series, as well as Pete McCabe's Realizing Magic series. Thanks again for watching the Vanishing Ink Replay. I'm Matt Zat, and I'll see you next week.